What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and today we're inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and we are going to be creating this. As you can see, we roll our mouse over, and we get four sub menus that come out from the side. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump into it. With a new composition, let's add in some dips. So this is our main. So let's name it main. This is our main menu. And then we want to create four of them. So Command C, Command Control C, Command C on the Mac, Control V, Command V on the Mac, four times, and twelve. Okay. Name this one to M1, M2, M3, and M4. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to drop each one of these down and give them a color. Uh, blue would be good for that one. The M2, drop it down, give it a color. We'll give this one a green. And then M3, drop it down, give it a color. We will give it a yellow. That'll be fine. And then our M4, our finer final menu. Excuse me while I learn how to talk, we we'll give it a slight pink. Okay, so next thing we want to do here is where it's located at. We want to grab a hold of all four of our sub menus, drag all the way over, create a keyframe. Oops, stay there. Drag over to here, come back out, and create a keyframe. Okay, that way we've got a Huh, it didn't change for some reason. Let's make them change. Don't you hate it when things just don't work out right? Okay, so now we've got all four of them. So now let's grab a hold of them and let's move them out to the side, making sure that our line stays perpendicular is that how you pronounce that word? Okay, now the next thing we want to do here is that we want to create some labels. So Control L, this one's going to be Close Menu. And grab a hold of these guys, move them out to here. Go out and then Control L, Open Menu. And then we're going to come out to our two second mark. We're going to create another one, and this one is called Stay Menu. And then come out to here, Control L, and this one is Menu Gone. Okay, so now let's come back over here, and we want to drag each one of them in to their corresponding location. So this is going to go to here. And it did not grab a hold of my left. So we want to grab a hold of the left on each one of these. So choose three and four and choose left. Okay, now let's try this. Drag it out to one. Let's grab a hold of this one. Okay, and put that one there. Something got messed up here. Let's try this again. Okay, now. Let's drag this out to here. Drag our menu to here. There we go. Next one. Menu to here. And next one, and so forth and so on until you got them all on here and then it will look like so well, sort of coming in just a little bit too fast but anyway it's about the way we want to go and as you can see we've already got our animation happening here for easing so how we do our easing is that right here, we click and we want ease out back. We want back on each one of these. So let's make sure that it's set for back. 
So choosing each one and then choosing back. And then that way, whenever it comes in, it sort of goes out to the side a little bit. Then it'll be played like so. All right. Now, on our main button here, well, let's go ahead and, sorry, let's go back to here. Go ahead and create an action, and we want to stop. We want to stop at our close menu. Okay. Now, we want to go out to here. We it don't really matter where you go. Let's go ahead and open up our actions for our main. We want to do a mouse over. And then we want to play from our open menu. And then we want to mouse out. And we want to play from our close menu. Okay, and that way whenever we run it, it brings out our menu items for us. Take our mouse off and the items move away. So now let's come over here and we want to make it so that each one of these menu items does basically the same thing. Except in this one, we're not going to start them off at the open menu and the close menu, but we're going to do them from the stay menu and the menu gone. So the first thing we've got to do here is that with our timeline indicator right here at the beginning of our stay menu, we want to choose left for each one of these. Move it over to the end and choose left one more time. Go to our menu gone and choose our opacity and then come over oops and choose our opacity paste it over there with each one selected hit zero and then the next one and then the next one and the next one so now we'll run it here and then it'll stay in this area and then it will fade out there so now what we do here is that on each menu item, we're going to do a mouse over. We're going to stop at our stay, stay menu. And then our mouse out is going to be play from our menu gone. Is that right? menu gone and stay menu is that right yep we are good so now let's just copy this one and come over to our m2 go to mouse over we want to stay and then our mouse out we want to play our gone menu and the same thing here mouse over we want to stay and then our mouse out we want to play our gone menu and then our next one here we want to do our mouse over stay and our final mouse out play our gone menu now whenever we run this Our cursor and we should be able to stay on each one of these without them going away so there you go quick simple menu animation hope that y'all enjoyed this very quick adobe edge animate well not too quick nine minutes and 15 seconds worth of quickness this is wayne baron with darkfakes.net Y'all have a rocking week, and don't forget to check out our new website, darkeffects.com. You can also access it through darkeffects.net. That site is basically shut down, uh, but it's still live and will always be there. There will be something added to it one day, just not right now. So anyway, y'all have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.